Hello and welcome to a quick Source Filmmaker tip that is hopefully going to help people who have been in my Twitter feed asking this question. How do I get sound in the, into Source Filmmaker? Now, Source Filmmaker being that old engine that it is, uh, it takes audio in a certain way and only in a certain way. Um, it expects a 16-bit WAV file. And, uh, and maximum 44.1 kilohertz um, sampling, or 44.100, whatever you want to call it. It's the same, or 44.100 hertz, you know, the same same thing. Um, and it's expects, expects it to be in the sound folder in user mod. Uh, probably the best location for it. And what you're wanting is to be in your scene, you want to be able to hit, you know, put the soundtrack there and hit play. And then you get the soundtrack. So... Um, by default, you can't do this with MP3. It won't even do it. If you have the wrong formatted WAV file, it won't do it either. Um, so let's figure out what we need to do. Um, so we're working with uh, some music called Savant or by Savant, uh, Mystic from Club, Mixers, Tin Survive, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> I probably I'll link it in the uh, in the description probably. Um, there is one particular tool that you'll need that's free and uh, and readily accessible, and that's called Audacity. Um, to get Audacity, you use a magic thing called Google, and you type in. Audacity, and then it brings you this page, or you just copy my URL, whatever you want to do, um, and you would download Audacity, install it. Now, when you get Audacity in, and sorry, I've done this twice now because I lost the last video. Uh, let's just close that. Uh, I don't want to import that stuff. All right. So when you open Audacity, you've got a pretty decent, you know, simple interface. Doesn't matter. You're not doing anything fancy here. You're just going to bring it in and you're going to, you're going to save it out. Nothing fancy. Um, what you want to make sure it is set up as you don't dick around with is uh, this project rate hertz. Uh, don't touch this. Leave it 44100. If it's not that, set it as 44100. Uh, and then take your MP3 file, whatever file that... I think this can read, uh, be it MP3, AAC, whatever, uh, assuming it'll read it, and you would just drag it in. And it'll bring in and in, in for it. And I'm not going to play it because it's going to blow my ears out. So um, point is, it's already kind of mastered, and uh, you don't have to touch the levels. Uh, unless it clips and source will make it in that point, you would probably go back. But um this is formatted as the you know this the music levels are as the artists put them out so if it was fine uh before it should be fine now um but that's not important right I'd stick around anything in here all right so we're going to export it now um by going to file export um we're going to pick um We're going to find our user mod directory. Um, you can see here, I'm not going to go through the entire process. Um, you should know where user mod is. If you don't, please find out and commit it to memory. It's very important where you to know where user mod is. Um, but what's important is user mod has a folder called sound. And that is the basis from which you will store your sound at that you'll be using in your projects. Um, so we're going to call this amazing audio amazing and we're gonna save it out and it's saving as a wave file um, but as you'll see here what we want to do in our project which is currently blank for all the per you know right reasons is we're going to add a track or add a clip to a track now I'm not exactly sure you know what track this adds this to or how you you determine that that's not the purpose of this video what the purpose of this video is to show you that you can actually import it in so you're right clicking your sound area go to add clip to track 
and then you are in your all mods you can go back to user mod or you just leave the way it is and uh, there you go. so in the user mod we have all these oh crap that's not what i wanted Uh, also note where your playhead is, is where it's going to insert the track. And it's not exactly the easiest to uh, reposition it. So we're going to go ahead and rescan actually. <laughs> because you have to rescan it for it to pick up your changes if you've left SFM open uh, since the export. So we've got amazing audio, that WAV. And as you can see... <laughs> It plays. Now, if it is clipping for you and my studio monitors are giving a, a butt, uh, you could go in the audacity and turn it down a little bit, uh, you know, over here or whatever, and then save it back out and do the process again. That's a topic for another day. You can play with that all you want. Uh, but that was the point of the video was to show you an easy way to bring a MP3 in, AAC, whatever track that you can read in audacity into audacity save as a wave that source can use in source filmmaker so i hope that was insightful and have a nice day